Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Peace! <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2018. <laughs> this is kind of a two for today. This is kind of ding a ling a ding a ling a ding a ling. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> House of Drama, Drama Phone. This is Peter speaking. Uh huh. Yeah, I do birthday shout outs. Well, I don't believe it's your birthday, girl. Hold on. Da 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 da. You say it's your birthday. <laughs> I want to sing a very happy birthday to you, Cindy. <laughs> Cindy, who is a very dedicated member of the Wolf Pack. Woo woo. Uh, it is her birthday today, so I want to give her a very special shout out. And today is kind of a twofer. I'm so excited about this. A twofer just for you, Cindy. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday. We're gonna do a twofer. First of all, we're gonna talk about uh, some little hot water that James Charles got himself into. Cause why not? Because I love doing the makeup, pop culture drama, of course. But then we're gonna do my favorite. We're gonna pick some favorites out of the Sheila Wood Friendship Club. But that's gonna be at the very, very end. So if you love the Sheila Wood Friendship Club like I do, it's right here. <gasps> See, it even says right here <clears throat> at the very top of the Sheila Wood Friendship Club. Find true love through our friendship club, just like these happy couples. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. So, <clears throat> I think not. ding a ling a shame a ding dang do Okay, <laughs> how's the drama drama fun? This is Peter speaking. What? That 14-year-old kid done shaded James Charles? Say it ain't so. So anyway, if you don't know what you don't know is a lot, okay? James Charles, a couple weeks ago, I've already done like two videos about this, but this is like a third video and I love this. And I have to say that Trisha Paytas tweeted out something last night about this and she was like, this is the drama that I live for. And I like saw her tweet and I was like, exactly. Like this is like the old school drama. Trisha has it, she has it so figured out. I was like, this is the old school drama that I totally miss, right? So thank you, Trisha, because I was like, you get kind of caught up sometimes and you're like, oh, should I do this or should I do that? And there's some listen, some bottom feeder uh, drama that I have learned to keep myself away from, okay? Y'all have come and left your two cents on my videos. Have at it. I don't delete comments. So it's nice to see how you really feel about me, especially on National Coming Out Day. Happy National Coming Out Day. But anyway, um, so I read Trisha's tweet last night and I was like, oh, you know what? Like this is kind of like it had happened two days ago, but I was like, I am going to comment on this because I think it's hilarious. So if you don't know what you don't know is a lot, James Charles, whose one year anniversary becoming the first male cover girl, cover boy is today. Happy anniversary, James. Um, he, <laughs> he did, okay, so he went and saw the movie It. Let's just get to this. He went and so all these people say, oh, that eight minute intro is too much. No, it's three minutes and 12 seconds, timestamp it. I think it's so rude when people timestamp videos. Don't you pee pee and pee pee? They both think it is. Well, that's pee pee too, because you know pee pee's my dog. Oh, I'm losing fans, see? Okay, because my, my intro's too long, my intro's too long. I got phones, I got magazines, I got, oh, okay. So anyway, <clears throat> whatever you want. Okay, so anyway, so I was um, like <laughs> going through all this stuff the other day, so blah, 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 scratch. Okay, so James Charles, he went and saw the movie It, right? And he was all expecting to be like, whoo, ha, whoo, whoo, ha. Ooh, like, but there was none of that, right? Because all of us who have watched Stephen King movies for years, I mean, The Shining is scary, isn't it? But like, um, why don't you want to play with us? But I mean, like the Stand By Me's and all that kind of stuff, they're not scary, right? It's more of like a mental kind of a thriller of the emotions, so to speak, right? I love the movie It. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was 10 times better than the original. I hate me, love me, I don't really care. So anyway... So he came out <coughs> while he was at the movie. He was like 10 minutes in. He's like, 10 minutes in, I don't even like this. All this kind of stuff, right? Well, the whole internet came for you. Like, you can't have an opinion about a damn movie anymore. I mean, like, God forbid he s says a peep on Oscar night, right? James, you better not even say one thing on Oscar night. So anyway, he's saying all stuff about it and all this kind of stuff. Well, I made a video and I said what you should do with this is because everybody was so shitty with him, right? I can't believe you don't like this movie, blah, blah, blah. So then he did this like Snapchat thing where he like apologized to the whole world, the script girls, the cast, everybody involved in it, right? So then he comes out and he does this tutorial, which I had kind of thrown at. I thought it would be a cute idea, actually. I was like, you done shaded everybody in this damn movie, so why not come out and do a Pennywise tutorial? 
But I also said do your review of the movie at the same time. He didn't choose to do that. It, I think it would have gone down differently had he. James, you should have listened to your PR agent right here, okay? So anyway, first I was the, uh, first I, okay, first he called us drama accounts. Then I said something about getting rid of sisters, and he said, you're fired as your, my PR agent. And then he said, I'm hired. So I guess I'm hired back again as his PR agent. But anyway, so what happened was two days ago, um, Wyatt Olaf, who plays Stanley in the movie It, he's 14 years old, okay? Now listen, if y'all have seen this movie, these kids are some fucking actors, okay? Listen, and I can cuss on my channel because this is adult privilege right here, okay? But you can like... I mean, these kids are some actors, but JT is 14 years old. You let that 14 year old come for you, girl. No, ma'am. Okay. So anyway, but it was kind of funny because he had shaded James Charles at 14 years old. So two days ago, Wyatt, who has changed his name. I hate when all these people, it confuses the hell out of me. I mean, I think it's real cute and Halloween-y and all that kind of shit and kitchen witchy. But I get so confused when y'all then change your names on Twitter. I don't know who y'all are anymore, okay? I mean, it's like all these people that I love. It's like, you know, Shane Dawson probably changed his name to, I don't know, Shane Dawson October or something. like. I mean, it's so confusing. I don't understand this. So anyway, so Wyatt changed, Olaf changed his name to Wyatt Gulliff. Okay, so cute. Well, you're 14, so okay, whatever. And he says on here, I mean, do you think those kids, that girl in that movie, she deserves an Oscar? Hands down. I'm, I'm predicting it already. Although, would that be like a, she'd be a best actress, best supporting actress probably. Okay. He said two days ago, when you decide to exploit a movie that you hate for money and attention, because why not? And he's referring to James Charles making this tutorial of Pennywise, right? Uh, exploit a movie? <laughs> I think that's kind of a reach, don't you? I didn't really think that he was exploiting a movie. He was doing a makeup tutorial. It's really not that deep. People, you guys, really want to get deep with some shit these days. I'm like, okay, he didn't, let's just, he didn't exploit a movie. But anyway, this tweet that he has, has 37,000 likes, 10,000 retweets, and a t over 2,000 comments. So, he, oh, Shane Dawson on here, I already said this. He said, James, you do not, oh, he goes, do not make another Uber apology video. Because that was, wait, we was in the Uber when he was in the Snapchat thing. I do not deserve this many good things. And James said, I'm not apologizing for doing this tutorial. My followers asked for, I promise, sister. And then Wyatt said, I get that, and it's totally fine just making a joke here on my end. So the whole thing was, like, totally a joke, right? But, like, people came for James Charles, like, hard, like, because he tweeted this out. And this is where you have to be very, very careful, baby. If you ain't got no giggle in your joke, you better not tell the joke, okay? Because people aren't going to understand it. And I say that all the time when people are doing sarcastic little videos and all this kind of stuff. If somebody don't understand it, listen, listen. I love Ricky Dillon all day long, okay? But y'all gonna do some clickbaity shit and act like y'all aren't friends anymore and you think people aren't gonna get shitty about that kind of stuff? You can't play those kind of jokes. No, not if you're not that kind of comedian. You ain't that, I mean, listen, you're funny. You ain't that grand, okay? And I love Ricky Dillon. I am a diehard Ricky Dillon fan. But people wanted me to make that video and I may still. People are so pissed about that, right? So you gotta be sure that the joke you're telling is that fine. But listen, in Wyatt's defense, I mean, he was kind of the one that could maybe make the joke, right? Because James had been the one that made the tutorial. So then James said, it's not funny though. I've already said a million times, you guys killed it in the movie and have apologized. You knew this joke <laughs> was going to result in me getting dragged left and right once again. I have a ton of respect for all of you guys, but this is uncalled for. And Wyatt said, oops, sorry about that, lol. <laughs> Shade. I can't control people, but I'll try to make sure that they aren't jerks to you again. Very sorry. <laughs> And then all these people come in here. It's so funny. And then it said something in here about, like, um, Wyatt, like, <laughs> shading James, okay, at 14 and, like, getting one over on him. So then if you go in here, um, he says to him, it's not that I'm trying to be mean or roast anyone here. I get it. It's just business. Not a big deal. Just how the internet works. And that's the thing, right? So... I, the thing is, is that James is trying to stay one step ahead, which I appreciate. Oh, girl, I'm always trying to do that, baby. They got me. They're like clawing at me. They're like, I'm going to get you. 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 They're always coming for you. They're always coming for you. So anyway, so I go up here, and then he says, guys, guys, guys. He's 14. <laughs> guys. People of the internet, guys. <laughs> there are a lot of people out there that are... <laughs> 
that lack that kind of development that are uh, running the internet and more. James Charles is just doing his job. His fans asked for the tutorial, so he gave it. We're human. We make mistakes. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> So, and that was all he had to say. Oh, wait, 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 let's see what oh, he got. Oh my God, a thousand responses. Let's see what he said. Oh, James said, thank you, sister. <laughs> and he said, brother, but okay. <laughs> James said, we're all sisters down here. Down where, girl? Um, but stop though. <laughs> but I love that he said, brother, but okay. So this is what I would love to see. If y'all are such good judies now, after all of this kind of stuff, first of all, I would have said, I would have held to my guns, okay? James, if you didn't like this movie, you should have said, I don't like the movie, I thought it sucked. Okay, y'all are fine actors. I think, I, I can't wait to see you in, you know, TV reruns of this. But yeah, it wasn't my gig. I didn't like it, I didn't think it was scary. I personally don't come for me, because I personally, Peter Mon right here, this one right here, I loved the movie, okay? I ate about a box and a half of popcorn, uh, two sodas, and lots of candy, and I broke my diet. I thought it was real fine. I loved it, okay? So don't y'all come for me, and I ain't doing no tutorials. You get it? See? Poopy. <laughs> So she's my defense attorney over there because she, she listen when people accuse when people say they're gonna sue There's some sue happy people out there. Okay, and not people that are named sue johnson. I don't know sue johnson Did I go to school with her down the street? I don't know But anyway You stick to your guns. You don't apologize all over the place I don't care who he is I don't care if she's that girl that ended up playing in true blood that was in that movie the piano and was up for an oscar No, ma'am. I don't care if it's jody foster when she was 10 years old bitch. No, ma'am. Uh-uh you don't back down. She said, I didn't like your damn movie. I'm doing a tutorial on it anyway, because everybody else is. So why not me? That's what I would have said. Case closed. But anyway, what I think would be so fine, since they're sisters and brothers now of the world, is if uh, James Charles and Wyatt did a makeup tutorial, and James did it on Wyatt and called it a sister-brother makeover. Oh my God, live, right? That would be so cute, wouldn't it? That's what should happen if they're really that good. So... That won't happen, you know. We can only dream of those things, but. <sighs> How's the drama drama phone? This is Peter speaking. What? Laura Lee's not happy about the criticism that she's receiving for her cat's pajama up. Hello? Well, I think it's pretty. Bye. So, anyway, let's get right to the Sheila Wood Friendship Club. So, if y'all don't know, I love the Sheila Wood Friendship Club, okay? But I didn't want to do a whole magazine review on the National Examiner. Don't go away. This is the best part of the whole video, okay? Right here. I didn't want to read about what spooky things, celebrity graves, Liberace. I'm sure he probably buried himself with a good fan. Marilyn Monroe and all these people. Uh, Natalie Wood. You know who Natalie Wood was? Speaking of ch ch child stars. Da, na, na, na. She's a little girl in Miracle on 34th Street. Frank Sinatra. Uh, so we, I don't care what they were buried with. Doris Day's last. I mean, the, it, listen, when you look at this, Jerry Lee's children wore over $75 million will. When you look at this shit on here, you know that the age, the audience that they're trying to reach is like 80 year olds. I mean, that is so sad, right? So let's just get in here. But if you're a photo sleuth and you can sp spot the difference right here. See, there his cup is white and there his cup is not white. I, I, bah! I'm a photo sleuth, baby. Give me that $100. Okay, so anyway, or you can buy right here. I got so many people that I love. I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. That if you want to buy this kiss little thing here right now, they're in full face makeup, full face, this, full face makeup. Somebody for Halloween. Oh, Rob Beauty Christie, you should do Gene Simmons. That would be so cute, wouldn't it? But anyway, I don't know how much it costs because I don't want it. I ain't buying it. Okay, where are, oh, here they are. So, if you don't know what you don't know is a lot. I love the Sheila Wood Friendship Club so much, okay? And right here they even have, uh, tr they have these three happy couples down here that have like found love through the Sheila Wood Friendship Club. So listen, so they don't change, but there's one on here I was so excited when I was, this is why I bought it. I was so excited because this one down here at the bottom is totally different. <gasps> and you guys know, every time I read this, it's the same one, right? So here it is, Gene and Paul Workman of Lakewood, Florida, married June 26, and then Levi, uh, uh, June 26 of 1982, it's such a happy couple, and then Levi and Melody Fry of Springer, New Mexico, married March 7th in 1993, and then right here, Kim and Teddy of Ridgewood, Queens, New York, they've been married 12 years today, so... <laughs> Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, Kim and Teddy. 
Kim, your husband Teddy reached out to me, so baby, this whole thing is all for you. But I do want to say, and they're happy anniversary, you guys, it's awesome. I do want to say here that the Sheila Witt Friendship Club is my favorite thing of life. And if you go in here, you can read all of my favorite personal ads, but it does say at the, the top here, any correspondence in or interactions dealing with you, engage in with an advertiser responder is done so at your own risk. So basically, don't meet up with these fools. Don't send them no money, you're gonna end up on the absolutely Oprah. Dr. Phil show and all that kind of madness. But guess what? Tomorrow I am doing an entire video all about the Sheila Wood Friendship Club. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.